Well, thank you. When I was in uh, public service as a senator in Arizona, I served for three terms. And I saw that there was a growing need in the, in the world for prefabricated, factory-built housing, something that would allow people to get into a home at a much younger, at a much lower price point than traditional site-built homes. Um, there are 6.8 million homes we're short in America right now, um, and it's getting worse because homes are appreciating rapidly. Just this last year in Utah, Idaho, and Arizona, we saw 25% plus inflation in the starting price of homes. So there's a real need. The trades are leaving. The trades are gone. They're aging out. And so we have a real problem with labor shortages. I was a framer as a young man. And uh, so I know how homes are built and how quickly they can be built. We used to be able to build a home from start to finish in a month to two months. It's now 18 months in Utah and Arizona. So it's just we have a labor shortage and the cost of inputs is outrageously high. We're starting with uh, what we would call micro and, and, and smaller homes. We're going with uh, 320 square feet, which are two 20-foot container sizes that go together with uh, transforming robotic furniture designed out of MIT. So it feels like a home three times larger because each room is used for three different purposes. You might sleep there as a master bedroom, you might office there during the day, and you might use it as a living room during the evening, the same space. Well, I'm sure with your company, you've done very well during COVID uh, with everything that's happening. What were your key success factors? Well, you know, it's interesting. We, I couldn't have traveled and met more people. Zooming ended up allowing us, I'm, I'm three hours a night, Tuesdays and Thursdays with China, with the factory. Um, and then I'm talking to the Singapore, uh, a very prominent family in Singapore in real estate. And then, then I'm talking to someone in Saudi Arabia or in, in, in Europe. So you couldn't travel enough to do all the business we've done. And we pioneered the idea of virtual inspections. So the US became comfortable in some of our states we work in, they become comfortable with having a virtual inspection with the factory in China. And in the past, that had to be done in person. So there's actually some pioneering that's occurring uh, with, with uh, COVID. People have been open to that. And what are your plans for the next 12 months? We plan to uh, go from prototypical state where we are now. We have units in production. Um, to be com completely commercial scale in 2022, making hundreds of homes a month. And uh, what brings you to the Monaco conference uh, uh, hosted by Sir Anthony Rattosa? Well, this is the first conference I've been to in person. <laughs> I've done almost one a week um, over Zoom as keynote speaker, as a panelist. I'm very involved in immigration in the United States. Uh, I became I ran against the president of the Senate, who was anti-immigrant, kind of a nativist and populist. And so I'm very involved in the United States. I'm on the board of American Businesses for Immigration. Um, and so I've been very active in many conferences, but they've all been Zoom conferences. This is the first time there's an in-person conference. And so I'm anxious to reconnect with people. <laughs>